Hey guys, so this is gonna be a separate video. This isn't gonna be a part of a vlog. It's not gonna be anything. And I'm not really gonna edit it unless I have like long pauses or something. Um, so right now I'm in the Walmart parking lot and the reason why is because we're making chili. Well, I'm making chili tonight for dinner. Becky's gonna help me a little bit and we forgot the ground turkey. <laughs> So we got home and we're like, crap. So she just went and ran in and, okay. So a little backstory. I feel like I need to actually share this because I need people to know that like mental things are is scary. Like not being able to control like depression or, schizophrenia like I don't have schizophrenia but you know being bipolar and it's just like all those things like not being able to control your mind sometimes or your emotions or anything it's just one of the most scariest things in the world and I was struggling really bad with depression months ago and you guys remember that like I cried at the drop of a pen like I cried over everything and I went through a time where I would cry literally in almost every single one of my videos and like my depression was so bad that like I just constantly felt like someone was like someone that I really loved just died and I had to mourn their death and it's just <laughs> it's such a horrible dark like scary thing and I suffer from anxiety I used to have really bad panic attacks and it was like the worst ever when I lived in Arizona like it was so bad like daily I would have like five and they were like so bad like part of my face would go numb and my body would go numb and my jaw would clench and I'd be shivering and I'd have chest pain and I couldn't breathe it was just so scary and when I moved to Virginia they totally went away. It was crazy. I lived very unhappily when I was in Arizona. So I think every day, like, my body and my mind knew that. So in Virginia, I got better. And then in Florida, I noticed that it was, you know, my depression was coming back, like, really bad. In Virginia, my depression never really, like, went away. But it wasn't as bad at all. And then... I feel like so much hate is gonna happen. I don't care though. <sighs> like, I just feel like this needs to be known and I don't know how long Becky's gonna be in there for, so let's just try to make this quick because I just don't want her to feel bad. But like, in Florida, my depression was starting to get worse and then when I came to Kentucky, it was like, holy crap, horrid. Like, it just got way bad again and so, as you guys know, I went to the doctor. I was terrified to go to the doctor. I used to take antidepressants when I was a teenager. Um, I actually took my first antidepressants when I was 10 years old. 10 years old, like what is that? And um, I've taken my fair share of antidepressants. Some worked, some didn't. And so I went to the doctor here because my depression was just becoming so bad and my anxiety was bad. I wouldn't have panic attacks, but my anxiety was just like constant. So Wilbutrin used to work for me when I was a teenager. So I recently went on Wilbutrin and I noticed that it wasn't working for me. It was giving me just really bad anxiety and I was mad at everything. And so I got put on Lexapro and... Like, Alexa, bro. Oh my god, this is gonna sound so fucking dumb. Like, what am I doing right now? I've been on Lexa Pro for I think it's been almost three months now, and I have been taking it for a week. So, let me tell you being on Lexa Pro for the three months, I didn't cry, I never cried. Like, I went from crying 50 million times a day to never crying like I never cried and like things that normally would like upset me or hurt me like completely went away um 
I keep checking if Becky's coming. And, um, like, it just completely went away. And I didn't feel, like, I didn't feel the depression. And I didn't feel angry all the time. And my emotions, oh my god, my emotions, you guys. For some reason, I just, I'm up and down, just constant. But when I was on Lexapro, I, I wasn't like that. I, I just, I wasn't. And I haven't taken it for a week. Because... I felt like, yeah, Lexapro was making me numb, but is being numb normal? Like, should Lexapro not be making me numb? Like, I was completely numb. I wasn't ever having anxiety. I wasn't ever crying. Like, my weight didn't bother me. That's not normal. I'm over 500 pounds. Like, just ugh, Lexapro completely made me numb. But it also made it to where I was able to carry on you know somewhat of a normal life although it didn't fix like my motivation like sometimes I didn't want to get out of bed but still I didn't have that depressed like black fog hanging over me but then I realized you know wonder if I'm okay now I'm so stupid and I stopped taking my Lexapro a week ago and I just had a really bad anxiety attack, really bad. I've been snipping at Becky all day long, and it's just over the dumbest things. And it's like, when I was on Lexapro, this didn't happen to me. I never got like this. Like, I rarely was upset about anything. Like, I literally was so numb. It was crazy. But it's like, I, I question, like, was I numb or was I just, like, feeling normal? I don't know. It's so weird. So... I haven't taken the Lexapro for a week because I'm fucking an idiot. I'm so mad at myself. And so I just noticed that like, I cried last night for the first time in so long. And it's over, I mean, something did happen. But it's like, if I was on Lexapro, but I would have cried. And then today I had a panic attack and I've been crying. And like, I cried um, over, it was like a TV, was I watching a TV show or a movie? I don't remember. But I cried like a few days ago over it and it's like, on Lexapro, I wouldn't do that. You guys, the panic attack I just went through, honestly, it was scary. It was so scary. And I'm just, I just, I don't want to feel this way. I don't want to feel this way anymore. So it's like, it sucks so bad, but I'm going to have to start taking the Lexapro again. It's just, I hate putting medicine into my body. I, I don't like it and I just wish that I could be normal. Like I know a lot of people like relate to this and Becky's coming. I know a lot of people can relate to this and I know they've been there. Like a lot of people struggle with mental problems but it's just like I don't want to have to be medicated to be normal and it's just not fair. I don't want Becky to feel bad because I had the panic attack while she was in the car and I told her I was okay and I just don't want her to feel bad and I don't know. I I just feel like it's so crazy to me. Lexapro actually works. It takes away your depression. I'm talking to them about kind of what just happened. Who? YouTube. Yeah. But it's just so crazy that, like, Lexapro actually truly does. Like, it worked for me. It took away my depression. I didn't cry. I didn't... I wasn't upset or mad or angry. And my... I'm so up and down with emotions. And I completely took that away. And now I just feel like I need to go back on it. What do you think? Uh-huh. You're sweating, babe. It's hot. Did you get you a water? You got me one too? Yeah. Thank you. Spring water. Unless you want to switch. Oh no. Oh, you got lemonade for you? Yeah, it's a light on calories lemonade. I'm sorry I'm for lemonade. everything. I'm sorry too. <laughs> I need to go back on it. Like I'm crying. Like when I don't cry anymore. I know. Ever since I took, stopped taking. You know That's what, what I was saying? trying to get across to you earlier. You know, you seem more outgoing hey let's do something let's you know let's go in here and play a game american ricky me and you you know babe let's me and you go oh. on a date <clears throat> but uh i see more like off alexa pro i see more like i want to do stuff but then while i'm on lexa pro my depression's gone so it's like how do i win you know is that what you're trying to say 
Well, I seen you wanted to do stuff on Lexapro too, though. Oh yeah, but I feel like off of Lexapro, I feel I might be. I feel like my vlogs are better. I don't know. You want to hear something real sad? It was like. It was day, I think it was like the second day, I, I no, the third or fourth, actually, that I wasn't on Lexapro, and I was filming videos, and people in the comment section were saying how I seemed weird. Like, my emotions were bizarre, and my, just the way I was, was like weird and bizarre. Could have been. I just wanted to open up with them and just kind of let them know. I just felt like you were better. On Lexapro? I just don't like it. I just don't, I mean, I, <laughs> I'm sorry babe, I hate crying. Look, I, I'll tell you this. <clears throat> you know, I'm on Vidla vaccine. There's a lot of scary things about it. If I miss a dose, I could go into a withdrawal. I don't want to experience that. It makes me not, you know, think Oh, the world would be better off without me. I hate myself. I wish I'd just go crawl in a hole. I'm not worth it. Because that's what I always think. Even though I never said it. That's just what I was always thinking. I don't think like that anymore. But I feel like it makes me very tired. Um, it's caused the restless leg syndrome. Yeah. It, de it definitely did do that. Because um, I asked my doctor about it. And I even Googled it. And it confirmed it. Uh, I sweat a lot more, which is also another side effect of it. Yeah. So there's a lot of downsides to it. I feel like it makes me very tired, very unmotivated. But then again, it makes me not completely hate myself, you know? I don't feel that need to, you know, sit there and say the world would be better off without me. Right. I've also looked at it as, <clears throat> wonder if these medicines yours what is it again venlafaxine venlafaxine affects her pretty much and my lexapro are helping our depression but that on our unmotivation to do things is because of our weight because well, being bigger makes you feel i found something else. lethargic and this and that i found something else out about venlafaxine what it can cause weight gain <clears throat> so with this whole you know diet thing that we're starting Will I be battling myself? Does it cause weight gain because it makes you eat more? I don't know. It just said weight gain. Huh. Well, you know, with healthier eating and less calories, weight loss will happen. So if you notice it not happening. What's this dude doing? I don't know. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing. If you notice, you know, you're gaining weight instead of losing, then that's something you should talk to your doctor about. Yeah. But, you guys, I just want everyone to know that if you have any type of, like, you know, depression or just panic, anxiety, anything, that we understand and we suffer from it and I just kind of wanted to show you and talk to you guys about what's been going on I've been wanting to tell you guys for the last week that I stopped taking Lexapro because I wanted to see if it was a good idea and obviously it's a very bad idea and I need to go back on it and um I don't know that's really all I just wanted to share that with you and I feel a lot better talking <sighs> like I was feeling like absolute do dad and now i just feel a lot better so thank you guys for that and thank you for that <laughs> for talking but um i'm gonna go i'm not gonna edit this or anything because i want you guys just to see the real raw the raw deal the type you know i don't know what i'm saying anyways <laughs> i'm gonna go home take a lexapro start the chili or start the chili and then take my lexapro <laughs> who knows but um <sighs> I'm tired of crying. Like, I didn't cry at all on Lexapro, and now I'm just like, ugh. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. Bye.